Good morning, Poker News, and welcome back to the 52nd annual WSOP Day 9. Some familiar names in today's news. After nearly six hours of an epic heads-up match, Ari Engel wins the 10K Omaha High Low, taking home his second ever WSOP bracelet. Engel had some massive support from his friends who were cheering from the rail nearby, cheering and screaming so loudly that even Jason Kuhn, who was playing at a table nearby, actually had to at one point ask them if they could keep it down, which proved nothing short of a success, as Kuhn took home his first ever WSOP bracelet in the 25K heads up no limit. The newest GG Poker Ambassador took out a field of nearly 57 entrants to bring home this poker gold, as well as a cool $243,981. Yvonne Bronstein also joins Engel in the two-time WSOP Bracers Winner's Circle yesterday after taking out Kevin Erickson in also a lengthy heads-up match in event number 12, the 1500 Limit Hold'em. Congratulations, gentlemen. Moving on, some exciting news for today at the WSOP, as the famous millionaire maker is set to kick off today, the eighth edition of this event, notorious for being the only tournament at the WSOP with a guaranteed $1 million to the winner. 2019 actually had the biggest turnout for this event yet, with 8,809 entrants and a prize of $1,344,930 to winner John Gorsuch. With the buy-in being as low as $1,500, I think it is possible that 2021 might see an even bigger number for this event yet. Moving on, the freeze out no limit goes into day number three, with seven players remaining out of 720. Event number 16, the 10K Limit Hold'em also continues in today, with Eric Kurtzman leading the way with 466,000 in chips out of 35 players remaining. Some other notable names heading into day two are Anthony Zeno, Jason Somerville, Brian Rast, Mike Matisau, and Benny Glazer. Let me know what you think. Who's bringing home some wins? Follow all updates as they happen on pokernews.com, powered by Club GG.